Hello, Troy White with Who Do Financial. And there's something that's been just burning on my mind to talk about, but I didn't really know how I wanted to address it. But I'm going to just start running my mouth. And that topic is the mindset. And there's a there's currently a lot of uh, uh, popularity around, uh, you know, our self-improvement as individuals. And that self-improvement usually involves or implies that you need a makeover, a mindset makeover, a, a change of your mindset. And from my perspective, that's wrong. That's not correct. That's not 100% accurate. Here's here's my perspective on that. And, and especially <clears throat> what I talk to my clients and individuals that I'm in consultation with, specifically entrepreneurs, because entrepreneurs are usually the ones who are being told this. You need to make up, you need to change your mind. And all these endless opportunities or possibilities will open for you. And my issues there are that, you know, you working with the mind you got. So you want me to change my brain to be more like you or somebody else that you're trying to tell me to be like, but I'm not that person. I am me. I have my brain. I have my mind. And I need to accomplish this thing. So you you sending me down this road of mental change and all of this. Whereas, hey, I like me. I like my mind. How about I use the mind I got? How can I do that? So what I'm saying in a way is the guru that is telling you you need to change your mind. You need to change who you are to in order to achieve your goal. Maybe you need to change that person. Maybe you need to change gurus, right? Because, or at least change the question. Ask yourself, are you good enough? Or, you mean, the brain you got, is it good enough? And I'm going to show you how I think it is. Because uh, the mindset of some of the people that are being um, encouraged to change I think that the person who is telling you that doesn't know the nuances of you, doesn't know some of the benefits of the mindset you have. I'll give you a for instance. Um, I grew up in Oakland, California, so many of the people, the people I grew up with, you know, are, you know, being, they get involved with a lot of things, right? So just put it like that, crime, whatever. So. I know people that used to be farmer kingpins or whatever, you know, drug, small fries on up to kingpins that are now doing something different. And I notice about them the mental barriers on the things that they try to achieve now that were not there when they were in the mindset of, of this crime type of life, right? I don't even like calling it crime. The, they were they had other products that they were focused on the delivery of selling right their business focused on different products and so that product is just something that they had a lot of knowledge of, of. they were very knowledgeable about it they were very the awareness was there there was a lot of a, a lot of resources for them to access to find out information about the, the product and so their, their mindset was good enough then. So I'm saying your mindset is good enough now. So, but you need, and, and I, I understand from reading and, and, and study and uh, studying in the various ways that people study, right? Of uh, psychology and that, you know, that is false to think that you're gonna change your mind any damn way. Your mind is set. You are who you are. So I'm, I think that's a false errand in the first place. 
that you're ch you're going down a rabbit hole that you're never going to come out of. You, this is a sidetrack from hey, your goal is actually this business. Let's start this business. Let's not worry about changing your brain. Your mind does not change. The the thought or the assumption or, or what we're calling it, your mindset being made over, your mindset changing. No, that's just you you getting more information. Human beings learn information. We don't change our mind. People don't change. There's never a time you ever changed someone's mind. You, you can give them more information that they will add in and incorporate in their understanding. And that may alter their actions. You know, don't worry about changing their mind. The action is what we're trying to change. So you don't need to change your mind. I think you need to take that same bully mentality that you had on the street and use that in your corporate pursuit. That same attitude that you used to find the best suppliers, the best markets, you know, the, the beast mentality that you had at one point, you, you need to have that same mentality again. You need to you think how you how the how you were successful in whatever those things that you did before, whatever it is, and incorporate those actions into a new environment and understand that you don't need to change your mind. You need to increase your knowledge. What, what does that mean? You just need to add information into your brain. Just add more information. Don't worry about changing your mind mindset. Your mindset will, you. we can call it change. You, your actions are going to change. Your surroundings are going to change. Your circumstance is going to change, which will impact your mind. And so we can look back and call that a mindset makeover, a mindset change. But don't worry about changing you. Your mind is good enough. It, it does just fine right now. It will accomplish what we need to get accomplished if you wanted to start that business. If you want to become a portfolio builder and build you an investment a portfolio that consists of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. And if you wanted to become a, a real estate investor, if you, if you wanted to learn about strategies that are involved in real estate investing, and the ins and outs, you don't need to change your mindset. You need to add information in there. That's it. Just add information. Don't start, don't start talking, oh, I'm going to change how I, my mind. <laughs> you know what? You're going to spend years and years on that, but you're not going to be getting done the thing you was changing your mind for so that you could get done. How about you use the same bully, the same, the same smasher mentality that you've always had? I love it if you was like that in the street. Now use that over here. You, you, can, you can start every corporation, the biggest corporation that are out here, the, the internet need to get on it. E-commerce. If you use the same bully mentalities, the same way that we come up with our side hustles and the, the just use that skills and ability and, and be open-minded enough to accept that you don't know some shit and be open-minded enough and willing to reach out and learn some shit. You can start just by Google YouTube, watch my channel, it, contact me. I'll point you to where other people you could watch and listen to, other courses that you could take to learn some of these things. Take some of my courses. I can offer you a course. I can mentor you. I can. No, I don't want to tell you that I'm doing it. I'm just telling you to go out there and find it. Use the same mentality you got, especially if you a bully, especially if you or hood brain type of thing. That just means you need to add information in there. I want you to take that same hood mentality. There's underlying skills in that hood mentality. There's a, there's a natural bow garden about a hood person. Uh, you know, hood mentality. We'll, we'll vilify it. But 
identify, write down some of the, the hood qualities you got, and you can all you you'll notice that there are some positive positive elements of those qualities. Some of those qualities translate very well in a corporate environment. You don't even have to call it a corporation, a small business environment, a local business environment. Man, you could use that mentality that everybody keeps telling you you need to change, you need to make over. I'm telling you, you need to keep that one. Use that one and smash on these fools with these businesses. Let's, let's take, some, take some of the, these business models and you, you implement the same thing they're doing. That's what's happening out here. It's, don't worry about stealing people's idea. <laughs> what's been done has been done. So do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. 